Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the quick look at patch Tuesday updates today and yes we are the second Tuesday of the month and that means security updates. Well a lot of stuff today. First of all it has a lot of bug fixes. If you've been having issues in Windows 10 uh, there's a lot of bug fixes in here that uh, just you know goes through all sorts of issues including issues in gaming issues and all sorts of applications and um, the way you know windows just manages uh, a whole set of uh, things so that's the first thing that uh, this update brings to windows 10 is a lot of bug fixes so that's the first part now if you're on windows 7 windows 8.1 and windows 10 of course the update rolled out today uh, in Windows 10, it's KB4074588, and uh, it also has a lot of fixes for security. Now, if you have Office, if you count Microsoft Office, over 50 vulnerabilities have been fixed in here. A lot of them pretty critical, and they affect all sorts of things. So they um, there's a uh, fix. Of course, if you haven't applied, first of all, the Adobe Flash, it should be here. Uh, you should see it today. But for the rest, you have common log file driver problems with ele elevation of privileges, device guard, um, the uh, security feature bypass. There's graphic funds problem where um, information disclosure possibility. Internet Explorer has a memory corruption vulnerability. Um, Microsoft Edge has information disclosure vulnerability. It also has um, feature bypass vulnerability. Um, lots of interesting stuff. There's uh, some elevation of privilege in Microsoft Office. A lot of stuff. Memory corruptions problems with the Microsoft scripting engines. There's Microsoft Windows itself that has uh, NTFS global reparse point elevation of privilege. Elevation of privilege is simply if you have access to the machine, you can actually, from a standpoint of just being a standard user, elevate yourself to a uh, administrator and do whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> there's also Windows Storage Service elevation of privilege. There's Microsoft uh, App Container problems, uh, memory corruption on in the Windows scripting, Windows kernel elevation of privilege, information disclosure. Um, lots and lots of stuff in there. SMB server as dial of service vulnerability. So lots, lots of stuff. Um, the most important is in the Windows kernel with the remote code execution flaw. So over 50 security uh, problems are fixed here. So it's a really big month, big month in security. And of course, if you are on the Windows 10, there's also tons of bug fixes in this. Um, release. Now if you are on a machine that is um, for the creators update you are at 15063.909 and if you are at the fall creators update where we are now your Windows version should actually tell you that you're at 16299.248 which is the latest build of Windows 10 right now so uh, head on to your machines and update a lot of security flaws and uh, some bug fixes and of course this applies to Windows 7 Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 some people have reported that it kind of hangs somewhere uh, be patient I've seen a few people report that it hangs and seems to do nothing but in reality if you're patient it actually does work on my machine which is a core i5 running Windows 10 a Fall Creators Update. I'd say it took maybe 10 minutes to install. So um, just uh, head on to your Windows updates and check it out, uh, especially for the security flaws that are uh, quite impressive in number this month. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.